everyone and welcome to Humble Heart Horsemanship. My name is Sabrina, this is my horse Gunner, and in today's video we are going to be talking about why you should never allow your horses to rub up against you. So a lot of people think that it's really cute and that it's the horse being cuddly and showing that it loves you when the horse rubs up against you. But in reality, it's the horse showing disrespect to its owner and also can be a sign of dominance. If you've ever watched a herd of horses in a field, you would probably notice that horses don't that often rub up against each other. And in the kind of rare circumstance that they do, usually the more dominant horses will do it to the weaker ones to show that they are in control, they're the alpha, so it's not something to be encouraged. It can actually be really dangerous for a horse to get into the habit of rubbing up against people. If someone is not balanced and they're standing near your horse and your horse rubs up against them, they could easily fall over and they could get hurt. Also, if your horse is ever around children, if you could imagine this huge head that weighs about 60 pounds depending, rubbing up against a small child, the child could easily fall over and could get seriously hurt. We want our horses to understand that we are the ones in control, okay? We're the leader, this is a partnership, but I'm the leader, he's my partner, right? And if I just allow my horse to come up into my personal bubble and rub up against me all the time, that's not a sign that my horse is respecting me. There's a lot of different ways that you can handle a horse rubbing up against you. Usually if you tell them not to do it, every single time that they try to rub, they will understand that they can't get away with that behavior with you. Say if I was standing here and Gunner were to rub up against me, I'm gonna take my fingers and push his head away like that. And if he were to try it again, I'm gonna do the same thing and push his head away from me. That way I'm telling him that this is my personal space bubble and he doesn't need to violate that space. You also can use your elbows and kind of flap your elbows like this. That way the horse is not gonna wanna come near you because you're flapping your elbow around. Oh, are you gonna leave the video? Okay, I'll see you later. I guess you can untack yourself. <laughs> okay, I got him back. He's back in place. We're almost done, buddy. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you scroll down, hit that like button, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.